Think back to that original class of 19 students that graduated from this university in the early 1920s. Think of the fact that there were 19 other students that couldn't afford to be here. And what if you as a donor had enabled them to be here? And what if one of them had helped prevent some major global crisis? One of them had discovered a cure for what is now seen as an incurable disease? We'll never know that because they weren't given the opportunity. And just think, when you reach into your own heart and you think about what matters to you most in life, it's making a difference. It's helping others, it's helping your own family, it's helping your community. I was very particular in selecting where I went to teach. I wanted an environment that was on the smaller side and allowed me to teach small classes. And because of that, I have had access to students that are very engaged. The opportunities at the university setting are fantastic. I mean, the students are so energetic. This is something I, I looked for when I was selecting a place, that I would teach smaller classes that enable me the flexibility to do things outside of, of huge lecture halls. I get to be around the students pretty frequently and I find them to be very goal-oriented and amazingly kind toward each other and appreciative and they are our future and they have such amazing possibilities here. There's already a culture here of students who are really interested in doing good in the community and being around those students a lot. I'd see them in a different environment. So investing in the Charter Challenge in that way is to ensure the future of our community as well as to invest in their own education. I chose the University of New Haven because I got invited to participate in something called the Kaufman Scholarship. For this scholarship, a bunch of students came together and got to show off inventions and projects they worked on in high school. I met a lot of really interesting faculty and the dean, and I got to see how enthusiastic they were about what they did. We were fortunate enough at a luncheon to sit with the young woman who was a beneficiary of our scholarship, and she was a graduating senior. She was magical in her passion for the university, magical in her passion for her trade, and incredibly impressive in what she was going to do with her life. The challenge is so important because it provides the opportunities to continue with the future, because if they don't, continue to grow and change and increase, whether it's buildings or programs or opportunities, um, then the students won't have their best advantage. When donors give to the university and enables us and our students to reach and, and use those resources, it's really making the edges of the university boundless, right? It enables us as faculty to learn things that we can then bring to our students. I have had countless amazing experiences that I know would have not have been possible if it was not for the generosity of all those who support the University of New Haven. We launched the Charger Challenge in April of 2016 with a goal of raising $100 million by our 100th anniversary in 2020, and right now we're on track to exceed it. And I'm proud to say that thus far, we've already increased the number of endowed scholarships from about 160 to 235. We've engaged more than 13,000 donors in the process and we have raised $76 million towards that goal. And why does that matter? We're raising funds to transform lives. Giving either time or money, there's always more than to get back. It's being able to see the good that the money does. They're really the core of our communities, and it's so important to give them a future and give them their knowledge. The gratification for a donor giving to an institution of higher learning, and specifically to the University of New Haven, is you're creating countless opportunities that none of us can ever foresee until they happen. You can't measure what your gift is going to mean. You just have to sit back and watch it and see the magic happen.